Hello, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to my very first tutorial in English. Um, I'm very sorry, my English is kind of bad, but nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to make a Pretz effect, which would look like this. We have step number one, and then we move to our next view, and we move to our next view, and at the end, we zoom out, and we get an overview of all our views and single slides. Which is really, really cool. <laughs> Alright. We start with a very blank um, slide. At the beginning, we have to add I form, the, the arrow. So we go to freehand form. And I'm going to draw the arrow really, really fast. Because it's uh, just a tutorial and no, no design competition, I guess. Alright, this is our arrow. We can smooth our uh, edges right here. So I right click, I go to edit points, I right click again on this point and I choose a smooth point, perhaps. In Germany it's a Punkt Glätten. <laughs> one and uh, the second one as well. Okay. Dup -dup -dup. Alright, this is our arrow. Beautiful. <laughs> More or less. Okay. We're going to enlarge our arrow to something like this. I guess. Okay. Next step is we have to do a little frame that helps us afterwards to, um, to place our text boxes and uh, shapes or whatever we, we want to add. We go to add rectangle and draw our rectangle in the size of our slide, with, which is uh, like this. The fill effect is none and the shape is uh, kind of black in the size. Okay, this is our shape or, or frame. <clears throat> Since we have not only one step or one view, but um, two more. I'm going to copy paste this frame two more times and um, place this frames where I want to have my my views at the uh, presentation. So my very first view is at this place. My second view is here, and my third view is right here. Okay. Now I can place my text boxes or my shapes or whatever I want to add, images or pictures or um I don't know. So step one. Uh this is just a little placeholder. Yeah. Dun, 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 like this, perhaps this size of eighty. Wow. Perfect. I'm going to add some forms like stars. One more. Okay. Well, I guess it's enough. Okay. All right. Now we have this little slide or or um, all shapes and and text boxes inside of this um, rectangle or frame is our first slide. So this is step one and this um shapes. Okay, I am going to copy and paste these uh, things. Step one is now step two. Just another little placeholder. <coughs> okay, um now it's it's uh, just a little tutorial and I don't want to do any really nice uh, design slides or whatever so um, I'm just going to copy paste my text boxes and bum 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 my, my stars okay okay good now we have our slides prepared like this okay um, again this is our first view this is our second view and this is our third view. Um, now there's our text boxes and 
images or forms or whatever you want to, to add. Okay, now we can uh, delete our frames or rectangles or whatever you want to call them. Now we have to group all our shapes and objects. So we mark all the out of these and uh, right click and we choose group and again group. Now we have one big object and when I move one part of this object, um, all my oh sorry, <laughs> all my group moves, which is uh, what we want. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Our very first uh, view is like this. So now when I start my presentation, this is what we see. Step number one. And some stars and alright. Next step is we want to move our um, our object so that we see step number two. In order to do that we have to go to animation. Um, mark our object and I click on animation area perhaps animation bereich in German animation area yeah I think that's it and after that we have to click on add animation we go to animation path and click on line yeah <laughs> nice Okay. <laughs> um, now, when I start my presentation, we see our first view, step one, and now we see our animation path, which is kind of short. All right. Now we have to change our the or the path. We see here this this little arrow. Um, uh, the green beginning. This is the symbol for the uh, start point, and the red is the end. So we have to change the end. Perhaps uh, something like here, I'm not sure. Let's test it. Step one, step number two. Okay, more to, to the left. Nope, wrong slide. This one, step one. Step two. Uh, actually, this is always trial and error, but I think you get used to do that. Uh, step one, step two. Okay, I guess it's fine now. <clears throat> All right. Now we have our first view, our second view, and our third view is just about to follow. All right, we have to add. I think you you know already another animation path. So we go again to add animation. We go to animation path, and we go to line. And uh, now we have again this arrow. So now what is special? Our next animation has to start at the end of our last animation path. So our green arrow is now at the end of our last animation, which is the, uh, the red arrow, and our red arrow is perhaps some something like here. Here, I'm not sure. Let's 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 try step two and next step. Okay, a little bit more to the left. One and two. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> Quite. <laughs> the one, two, and now I, I guess it's it's okay. Okay, wonderful. All right. Now at the ending, we want to zoom out. In order to do that, we go again to add animation. And then we go to zoom in, zoom out, which is in uh, German vergrößern und verkleinern. <laughs> um, I guess it's a zoom in, zoom out in uh, the English verse, version. Zoom in. We have to change the size of the effects, so we double click on 
this effect and change the 150%, which means zoom in, to 235 perhaps. It's always a bit of a gamble. Okay. Let's start our presentation. Step 1, step 2. Next step. And. Sorry. I didn't change. I guess I forgot to, to, to press uh, enter. Okay. Now. Step 1, 2. And now we have zoom out. Okay. The zoom out effect works as we want. But now our form is uh, at the wrong place. And now we have, I think you already know, have to add add animation and animation path once again. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, and again our animation starts at the end of our last animation path, which is quite here, and it goes perhaps to this place. Perhaps I'm true. And uh, what we have to do additionally, we have to say that this animation starts at uh, the same time as uh, the animation before. So right click and we go to start with uh, last animation. Perhaps mit vorherigem beginnen. All right. Let's test once again. So one, two. Next movement, and now we zoom out, and we have a um, animation path combined. Um, okay, <laughs> now we have to to change the ending here a little bit more to the top, which is here. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, I guess it's okay now. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. We have um, done it. We, we we created our forms and text boxes. Uh, we grouped all all things together, and afterwards we added. This uh, animation path <coughs> and the zoom effect. That's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Or um, yeah, that's it. Thanks. <laughs>